Yeah, his roommate wasn't there. He told me that about 12 times. So then he kept sort of hovering around me, asking me what I wanted. It was really weird. Like, he kept saying, what do you want? What do you want? And I say, you know, a cup of tea maybe. I mean, I, I didn't know what was going on. So then he got mad at me. He started saying I was being cruel to him. And I said, Richardson, just get that tea. I just want some tea here. So then, so then he said, that, what about what he wanted? He said, nobody cared what he wanted. And he said, it wasn't true that I didn't care. That that's why I was even there. So then he kissed me and, and I let him, I let him just for a second because <laughs> I don't know why, I, I just... <laughs> and then when I tried to, to get out of it, he, he freaked out, he... <sighs> Did I have to tell you this part? <sighs> he, he, he's such a fucking shit that I've been stuck in his apartment for three hours, I locked myself in his stupid fucking mother for three hours while he sat down there and told me he was sorry. Three solid hours. How did he get out? He left finally. We're calling the cops. I don't think that's necessary. The hell is not. He tried to rape her. He didn't try to rape her. What would you call it? It certainly was not rape. And getting hysterical about this is not going to help anyone. We just didn't make a mistake. But? Nothing. I just think we should all go to bed and talk about this in the morning. Talk about what in the morning? I just think we should go to bed. I think we're just too wounded up to go to sleep. I want out here. Why do you have to tell us now? Yeah, I want to you too. I mean, I told you what happened. What, do you think I'm lying or something? No, of course not. It's just a few things are not clear to me. That's right. What? What's not clear? What did Asso say to you? He just said he wasn't mistake. <sighs> a misunderstanding? You kidding me? Look, my fist is in your eye. I just cannot understand how he got Please there. Please don't joke about this. I just think they misunderstood each other. But what do you mean? I, I didn't understand, misunderstand anything. I was trying to be nice to him, so he hit me. Jen, you said it yourself. You let him kiss you. My God, what do you think that said to him? But it was just a kiss. I felt sorry for him. Don't you think that misled him? But maybe, I don't know. But I told you him. told him you cared for him. You kissed him. And I he, told took, him. he took that to mean that you would sleep with I him. know that you were Ellie, shut up. Him. I can defend myself. I, well, I don't have to defend myself. He hit me. I am not accusing him. Then what are you doing? I am just saying you both made mistakes. A mistake? What was her mistake? What did you do to him? I think she knows. No, I don't, Jessica. I don't. No, Jessica, we don't know. You have to tell us. I want to hear her say that. How do you think he's felt all these years she's been stringing him along? He loves her. He wants a life with her. And she, she just trampled on that like it's nothing. I'm surprised this didn't happen sooner. Sex is not a game. Oh, really? What do you know about sex, Jessica? I don't think my personal life has anything to do with it. And you're wrong. It's got a lot to do with it. Well, I don't choose to discuss it with you. I'm not giving you a choice. If you're unhappy here, this is hardly the time or the space to discuss it. This is exactly the time and the space to discuss this. We were talking about your remarkable observation that Jen is asking for this because she sleeps around. I never said that. Yes, you did. And I'm wondering what is in your life there that plants this idea to your head when you see your roommates sitting in front of you with a black eye. I don't have to answer you. No. We told you and told you and told you that he was dangerous, but you wouldn't listen. I'm sure you would love this to be my problem, but it's not my problem. No, it is. You actually cannot stand the idea that that lunatic was actually mad and crazy, and now that has to be her fault. You are ridiculous. You're hysterical and ridiculous. Yeah, and you're pure. You're so right. You're the fucking virgin mother, aren't you? And we are a mess. We are just a mess. But you love that. That's her. enough. No, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not even close to what I have to tell you. You cannot stay here. What did you say? Yes. I know you're going through a hard time right now, but this is just too much. I don't have to listen to any more of this. I want you gone tonight. You hear me? Tonight. I can't 